Hello everyone, welcome to PCT Lecture 7. Today we discuss symmetrical components, which is really important for our power circuitry in terms of uh, circuit analysis in three phase system, especially in uh, the case of unsymmetrical fold. First, uh, we start with the definition and then uh, we discuss in details about the sequence networks of a star connected load, a synchronous generator, a transmission line, and finally the case of three phase transformer. So we start from the definition. Let's assume that we have a three phase system with the three phase voltages. Uh, from uh, phase to neutral as VA, VB, and VC. We assume that they are made from a uh, three components such as sequences, for example, zero sequence, positive sequence, and negative sequence. So let's have a look at the zero sequences VA0, VB0, and VC0. They are the same. Notice that we are talking about vector or complex number. So they are the same in amplitude and they are also the same in phase angle. How about the positive sequence? The positive sequence here, they have the same amplitude as they are balanced, but the sequence is positive A here, B here, and C here. They are rotated clockwise. And finally, about the negative sequence, they are also balanced VA equal VB and equal VC here in a negative sequence. But the order is A, B, and C. The order is counterclockwise. So, using the three uh, sequences, we can form VA and VB and VC by definition. And also we define the vector operator A which is um, the vector that rotates 120 degree. So A has the amplitude of 1 and a phase angle of 120 degree. A square is the fact that we rotate it twice so it has the amplitude of 1 and the phase angle of one, uh, 240 degrees. The identities of this the operating vector is that the sum of a and a square and 1 equals 0. If we rotate it 3 times, it is back to 1. And the other characteristic is just uh, from the fact that we do the calculation with uh, vector A. So let's have a look at the uh, positive sequence here. It is in fact the vector 1 uh, A square and A multiplying with the basic uh, sequence VA1. For the negative sequence, the vector is actually 1, a, and a square, and then multiply with VA2. For the zero sequence, the vector is 1, 1, and 1, because there is no rotation at all. So let's have a look at this case. We have a three phase unbalanced voltage in general. And then we can rewrite them with uh, the operating uh, vector A. And then we convert it into a matrix form. And here we define this matrix as uh, matrix A. And this matrix A is very important for our calculation later. If we use a diagram, we can see that VA is formed by the sum of VA1, 
VA2 and VA0 like this. Similarly for VB and VC, but notice that VA1, VB1 and VC1 is form a positive sequence. A2, B2 and C2 form a negative sequence and the rest is zero sequence A0, B0 and C0 they are the same. So what is it for? What is the sequence for? Um, to analyze a three phase circuit, especially in the unbalanced situation, um, we need to do the detail in circuit analysis and it's quite complex. So instead of doing the complex thing, we can convert it into the sequence world and then do the calculation there, which is very simple. And then after that, we convert it back to the actual world. Let's say in the actual world, we have the uh, vector uh, for the voltages ABC like this and the vector for the phase current uh, I, uh, IA, IB, IC like this. We can connect them using a uh, circuit analysis. So if we have the voltage, we can uh, solve the circuit and then um, calculate the currents. And after that, we can multiply the voltage with the current conjugate and yet the apparent power S. In the sequence world, it's the same. The voltage vector and the current vector, they are linked via a sequence network. And then for the power, or apparent power, is also the voltage, sequence voltage, multiplying with the sequence uh, current conjugate, but this time we need to multiply it with 3. So this is the only difference between the actual world and the sequence world. So in order to jump between the two worlds, we need to convert it using the matrix A that we discussed uh, before. For example, we ABC here can be calculated by VA012 by multiplying them with vector A. Similarly for current, if we want to jump from the actual world to the sequence world, that means we, can, uh, we want to calculate VA012 from VABC, we need to multiply VABC with the inverse matrix of A like this and similarly for the current. So using this kind of uh, image, we see that if we want to analyze the full current for example in the actual world, first we need to convert the voltage to the sequence voltages. The circuit we need to convert it to a sequence network and then we use the tool to calculate the sequence current. And here we can calculate the power already. But if we want to find the current here, we need to multiply it with the rotation matrix A. So let's have a look at an example. Um, the symmetrical components of a unbalanced three-phase voltage are VA0 equal this, uh, VA1 equal this, and VA2 is equal this. Notice that they are all in PU. We need to obtain the original unbalanced phases. So simply we just multiply with A and then we can get VABC of that. So the vector that we, we obtain from the problem is here. We place it in the column like this and then we multiply it with the rotation matrix A made from the rotation uh, operator A small a here and then we can obtain the result like this. Next uh, we discuss about the sequence impedances. So the sequence impedances uh, 
we can talk about the positive sequence, the negative sequence, and most importantly, the zero sequence. Mostly, the positive sequence impedance is the same with the negative sequence impedance because in the uh, uh, AC circuit, they just uh, have the uh, phase difference uh, in the reverse way. But for the zero sequence, it's significant different because the phase difference here is zero. We talk about detail later. So let's have a look at the sequence impedance of a star connected load. This is a star connected load. The neutral point is connected to the neutral or ground via a uh, neutral impedance Zn. The equivalent uh, impedance for the sequence network is like this. For the zero sequence, it's very simple. It's the start impedance connected in series with three times the neutral impedance. And for the positive and negative sequence, it is just the star impedance. So, if we look at the um, expression, the zero sequence network is equal to the star uh, impedance plus three times the neutral impedance. The positive sequence network and negative sequence network, they have the same impedance and they are equal to the start impedance ZY. The sequence impedance of a delta connected load can be extracted very easily using delta to um, start conversion. And if you do the delta to start conversion, you can realize that the impedance that connecting it that the neutral to the ground, it doesn't exist. And that means the Zn here is actually infinitive. And therefore, Z0 is infinitive. For infinitive um, ne um, zero sequence impedance, it means that we don't have any connection here to the reference. And therefore, for the zero sequence network, it is open circuit. The rest for the positive sequence and negative sequence is the same, like this. Next, we look at the sequence impedance of a synchronous generator. Here, the only difference between a synchronous generator and the load is that it has the internal voltage. EA, EB, EC here, and we assume that it is a positive sequence. EABC equal uh, one A square and A uh, times uh, EA. In this case, uh, this voltage is positive sequence and it's only applied for the um, equivalent positive sequence uh, circuitry like this. The other sequences, they have no voltage applied, so they have uh, no voltage source here. And then we can calculate the output voltages according to this uh, equivalent circuit. Notice that the uh, Z0, Z1 and Z2 here, they follow the same equation as the star connected load in this case. Next, we look at the sequence impedance of a transmission line. Let's have a look at a three-phase transmission line ABC with the fourth line neutral. We consider that the line is fully transposed, so um, the cell impedance of each line is defined as ZAA. Um, the mutual impedance between the lines are defined as ZAB and the mutual impedance between the line and the neutral is ZAN. The uh, cell impedance of the neutral is separated and it is ZNN. The input voltages 
of the line which refer to neutral are uh, VAN, VBN, VCN. The output voltages are VA prime N prime, B prime N prime, and C prime N prime. So it is quite difficult to calculate the current and voltages in this case because of the existence of the mutual impedances. So instead of analyzing it in this uh, real world circuitry, we convert it to uh, sequence uh, network and when we do that the result is that the zero sequence positive sequence and negative sequence they are all decoupled and therefore they are independent so you can see here it is just a single phase circuitry and they are all similar our job is to figure out what is the uh, equivalent uh, zero sequence impedance uh, Z0 uh, positive sequence impedance Z1 and uh, negative sequence impedance Z2. There's a formula for it. Uh, Z0 equals ZS plus 2ZM. Z1 equals ZS minus ZM and it also equals Z2. Notice that ZS is uh, ZAA plus ZNN minus 2ZAN and ZM equal ZAB plus ZNN minus 2ZAN. So you can see that from the given impedances ZAA, ZAB, ZAN, and ZNN, we can calculate the uh, zero sequence, uh, positive sequence, and negative sequence impedances. Now let's have a, a look at an example. We have the terminal voltage at the sending end and receiving end of the line are given as this and this. So you see VAN, VBN and VCN are all given and also A prime, N prime, B prime, N prime and C prime, N prime they are all given. We also have the line impedances given like this. We need to figure out the line currents using symmetrical components. So first we just need to convert the uh, voltage in the real world to the uh, voltage in the uh, sequence world. And we do that by multiplying the voltage in the real world with the uh, inverse matrix of A. And after that, we calculate the zero sequence, positive sequence, and negative sequence uh, impedance by using the formula that we uh, saw before. And then uh, we plug it to the equivalent circuit here to calculate the current. So we can calculate IA0, IA1, and IA2 like this. It is just um, KVL here. So the current here equal to the voltage from A minus voltage from A prime and over the equivalent Z0. Similarly for A1 uh, and for IA1 and for IA2 we can calculate the um, sequence currents IA0, IA1, IA2 like this and after that we convert it back to the real world by multiplying the sequence current with rotation matrix A and then we get the final answer like this. Finally we look at the zero sequence impedance of a trans, uh, transformer or preface transformer in this case we have a few cases here. The first case is very common. It is a Y to Y connection with the connection to the neutral. The zero sequence equivalent circuit is also simple. It just connects string from uh, the primary to secondary or P to Q in this case. 
we have this connection because the current zero sequence current going to the neutral and then back here to the neutral however when we disconnect one there will be no current flow anymore in this case this Zn becomes infinitive and therefore there is an infinitive uh, impedance here and we have an open circuit so that means there is no zero sequence impedance going in this case similarly for the case of delta to delta here we don't have any neutral connection and therefore there is no zero sequence current going in this case we have an open circuit from P to Q how about the case when we have delta connecting to Y or Y connecting to delta like this here we have the neutral connection to the earth so there is a pass for the, uh, for the uh, zero sequence current going through the neutral on earth but there is no pass for the current to go from the primary side to the secondary side so in the zero sequence equivalent circuit we have the current go to the reference bus or neutral here but there is no current going from P to Q or from the primary side to the secondary side when we open the connection to the neutral there will be no longer any pass for the zero sequence current to go to the neutral so there is nothing connecting here the circuit becomes open again so for your homework please prepare well for lab 3 it is related to the zero sequence for the transformer you can read the textbook to prepare better and also remember to practice tutorial 7